What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well in today's video we're going to be talking about a crypto that just recently launched that I am going to add to my personal utility bag because I have actually been taking advantage of its utility. Now you all, you guys know like oftentimes we always hear the thing like invest in the things you use and stuff like that and I was like you know what? this is a good opportunity to do that. This company reached out to me and they were like hey we'd love to bring you know our company to your channel whether it's a partnership or whatever it may be we really think you can use what we do so check us out and let us know what you think. And so I started kind of doing some research on them exploring them and I've actually started to use their product because it saves me a lot of time and I'll explain that in a little bit here. And so with that in mind today we're going to be talking about chain swap which basically gives you the ability to swap cryptos and trade cryptos across different chains and that is by far one of the most useful things for me personally within the world of crypto so i know a ton of people also are utilizing it at this given point so we're going to talk about who they are and what they do i'll tell you a little bit about why i personally use them we'll talk about their token and then we'll close it out and so with that said let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video so as we can see here again we're going to be talking about chain swap now i do immediately want to get into its utility because again i think that that's the most important aspect of this thing and as you can see here its utility is to give you the ability to swap a crypto any crypto that you can think of from one chain to another chain so say for example i send you usdt on binance you can transfer on using this that usdt to say ethereum on the erc network if that makes sense very easy very seamless now as you can see here they do currently have a swap but they are integrating more things they have a privacy swap on the way and a mixer on the way both of which are going to just allow the process not only to be more efficient for certain people but a little bit more private for others if people don't really want people snooping around all the transactions that they're doing take it as you may people might use that for the good for the bad but that's not our business now what you can see here again is that they have this thing pretty much set up all the way especially whenever you come to these three chains now they're going to be adding more chains integrating more pl uh, platforms of course more l1s on board and then obviously that's going to make the ability to be able to transfer chain to chain much easier but again it's mean it's very simple you would literally just go in say just type in 10 let's go ahead boom 10 and if i wanted to transfer that yeah across chain let's just go here boom that's good you can go in it's going to automatically give you an update you're going to connect your wallet press subscribe and then boom you're done easy simple just like that now the reason this is so important to me is because many of you do know i run a company within web3 now so at, what i do is i manage a ton of influencers we handle their sponsorships we handle a lot of their back end we do all of that and the thing is a lot of the time companies will pay us say for example if a company's paying someone for a video what we have to do is we get paid by the company, we hold that payment in escrow until the influencer creates the video, and then we release the payment to them, but we hold a commission on top of that. Like that's the business model, nothing to hide there, right? The thing about it is though, for example, some companies might pay us an ERC because you know they're an ERC token and it's easier for them, but some influencers only wanna get paid in BSC. And what's shitty and very annoying is that if you know there is that difference there, our company has to handle that difference, usually by interacting with a bridge or usually just having to you know transfer it through our own funds and our own treasury which we also don't really want to do right and so being able to use something like chain swap has made it a lot easier quite simply because we can go in use the swap pay minimal fees then we're done then we can send it off to our new client or our client right and so because of that again knowing that i know that this has a ton of utility and knowing that cross chain movement is very annoying and very difficult i definitely think that this has a lot of potential now not only from that perspective but just kind of the fact that they are integrating this correctly using very very high tech software so so let's go ahead and let's get into it okay so the first thing that they have of course is let's go ahead and scroll down scroll down is the fact that they're integrating chain links cross chain interoperability protocol ccip this is kind of the engine of this car of chain swap you can see here that chain swap unlocks secure and efficient cross chain swaps through chain links ccip this innovative protocol boasts a level five security through its decentralized network with an added risk management network, allowing for the seamless transfer of both data and tokens between blockchains. Now, not only have they integrated that, they've also integrated Circle's cross-chain transfer protocol, CCTP. They say that this innovative protocol eliminates the need for complex conversions by facilitating direct USDC swaps between supported blockchains. CCTP prioritized security by using a reliable burn and mint mechanism, mitigating the risks associated with traditional bridge hacks. That's another thing to consider. Whenever we're doing it as a company, we know if our funds are in that bridge and we're going between chains 
and the Braves gets hacked, we're done for. Like, there's just nothing that we can do about it. And so, obviously, the, the two decisions we have to make are either take the risk one, or the second thing that we have to do is do slow portions of amounts that we bridge, and that costs money, and it's very annoying, extremely annoying. So, they have this kind of backup and protection. They go on to say that, furthermore, CCTP streamlines transactions, minimizing processing times and fees, allowing users to swap USDC across chains efficiently and cost-effectively. And like I mentioned before, this saves us a lot of time, a lot of money, and makes things very easy and very efficient and that's why i personally do love that okay and so by using this and i know it sounds simple but by using this being able to offer a solution to a major problem within the world of crypto is not easy and being able to successfully accomplish it I think it puts you in a spot where you have a lot of success potential. Now, not only do I think that they have a lot of success potential from that front, they've already kind of showed it. So they have a token currently, and it's called the Chain Swap Token or the C Swap Token. And this thing did launch a couple days ago. Now it's still sitting at a $12 million fully diluted valuation, even after the initial pullback, and it's holding up pretty damn well. Now, for a little bit more information on this, what you can see here is that it will be a utility token launched with a fair and transparent approach. 100% of the tokens will go into the liquidity pool, no additional minting. No team tokens are withheld showing the team's commitment to transparency and community involvement now you can see here that there will be a sustainable transaction tax of five percent being applied to both buys and sell transactions to of course support the project right they need to do marketing they need to burn some tokens they need to do all that stuff five percent is okay with me now there's also a dap usage fee of 0.5 percent per transaction which is also applied whenever you go on chain swap and you actually swap between it that's fine. That's not a lot whatsoever, especially for many of the bridges that I have used. When you use the when you mix the bridge fee plus gas, you're usually spending a shit ton. This does save a little bit of money. From that fee, of course, 75% goes back to buybacks and burns. And of course, 25% goes to holder redistribution. And so, in my opinion, that's great. As the platform gets more and more users, as it grows, it gets bigger, it generates more revenue, it'll generate more fees. As it generates more fees, that's more money that's being spent buying back and burning the token and being distributed out to holders. So it kind of makes you a real stakeholder or a shareholder within the company within the platform because this is how they generate revenue on a fee to fee transfer to transfer swap to swap basis and so in my opinion i think that this is great they have a utility they have a product they have a product that makes money the money that it makes will generate more and more revenue for the token that will help the pro tokens price floor over time absolutely fantastic i absolutely love it i know that their utility works because it works for me and so because of that of course i wanted to talk about them today and so with that in mind again i just wanted to bring that to you they still do have some stuff on the horizon like i said before with their mixer and their privacy swap so make sure that you do stay tuned because i am going to give you more updates on this as it does come out i told you guys they reached out to me and i wanted to partner with them just like that because i love the utility and i know it works and so with that in mind of course i hope you guys did enjoy in today's video and find it valuable if you did you can always let me know simply by smashing that like button and subscribe subscribing to the channel if you are new and I will see you all next time. Peace out everybody.